In this video, I'm gonna show you a new way that I like to run the mesh concept out of five wide in Madden 21. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thanks for watching and if you have not already subscribed, I'd encourage you to do that. Uh, you can subscribe by hitting that link down in the description there. Uh, and basically what that does, it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies. We upload videos every single day on YouTube. We're gonna be uploading tips and tricks every single day for Madden 22. So if you're excited about Madden 22 and you want to be uh, involved in the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Now in this video, I'm talking about my gun empty tray stack five wide scheme, and I'm going to be showing you a route concept that I'm actually going to be putting into my route concept encyclopedia. Now, if you've not already gotten the route concept encyclopedia, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. But basically what it is, is it is an encyclopedia of route concepts. It's concepts that you can apply to any formation and any wide receiver personnel grouping. So you can f apply this to five wide, you can also apply this to two wide, to gun bunch, to gun tight, to gun spread. We break down all those concepts. And so it's really a kind of a meant to be an encyclopedia of sorts, in which like a resource that you can go to and say, okay, you know, I wanna run this concept. Well, we have it broken down for you in the guide. So I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description if you wanna get that. Um, but really what this mesh play is designed to do, and we're going to do this out of the play, um, out of the play curl switch. You can also do this out of so many other concepts. Um, actually, you know what, we're going to do this out of bench corner today and I'll, I'll talk about the other one in a different time. Um, let's talk about bench corner just because it's a little bit different way to run the mesh, but it's really, really good against Mabel coverage. So, uh, what we're going to do is as you can see here, I'm just going to set up kind of a general Mabel concept just like this, and we're gonna create the mesh route. Now the mesh route, if you will, um, is really simple, and really all we're going to do is we're gonna take two drags. So I'm gonna drag the triangle receiver on this play, and then I have a decision to make here of who I wanna drag and, and kinda of how I wanna do this. What I actually like to do when I run this play is I actually like to go ahead and smart route the X. I'm gonna take the circle receiver and put him on a drag, and then here's the thing with R1. You can put him on a curl, or you can put him on a post. I prefer to put him on a post if possible, but you can put him on anything that you, if you can't put him on a post, then just put him on a curl, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're just going to motion him to the inside and we're gonna snap the ball right as soon as he kind of, right before he sets his feet. What you're gonna see is this corner route to the X is going to basically beat every coverage in the game. It's gonna beat man, it's gonna beat zone, it's really our first read on this play. And really what this is, is we're just simply trying to isolate this, um, you know, this X receiver. So, you know, that's why the post route, I like it a little bit better than the curl because it's technically a vertical route. If you want to leave Brown on a dig, you can. I just prefer the drag. Um, but again, you're just going to motion snap and kind of get him right in here. And you see how it brings the cloud flat in and allows us to now throw the ball to the outside to Gronkowski. Now, uh, let me show you that one more time just to show you that route one more time. Cover three is um, the best way for them to defend that specific route, either cover three or cover two. And what this is designed to do, like I said, is really designed to get really, really horizontal with the defense and really stretch them uh, in a horizontal way. So again, here, you're just throwing this ball right there, kind of cutting it off. And you can see there that we're, we're not able to make the catch, but there is a little bit of a window there. He does get jammed off this, which is not what we want to see. Um, and I'll show you a different way that you can run this as well. Another little trick that you can use is you can leave the R1 receiver outside if you want. Um, and then what you can do is you can actually motion the C route out. If you choose to do that, um, you're going to see here that it just it just kind of it gets these receivers open at different points. Now, real quick, I want to go over kind of the real core uh, passing concept that we really want to hit on, and that's the double drag route. So because we're doing so much in terms of um, corner routes and crossing routes, and really if you have Hot Route Master, it would probably be better to do something like that. Um, as you see here, R1 is on a corner, X is on a post, and then your double, your double drags are underneath now. That's probably a better concept. But anyways, um, the big thing is these double drags. And when you pair these double drags with the corner routes, what the corner routes do that I think is really special um, is they really do a good job of pulling the zones out of the way. So whereas if you don't use corner routes and use like flat routes, if they play the right zone drops, they can kind of get underneath them. But with corner routes, there's such a big penalty to doing that. And so when you use something like this, 
you're gonna get basically, you know, this kind of look right here. So this concept right here, because of this corner route, whether it comes from R1 or X, um, what you're gonna see is triangle is gonna really get open right in this little pocket. And as you can see here, I can, you know, easily rack that, you know, upfield for a few yards. The other thing that I like about this is it's really good for Mabel coverage because Mabel coverage, typically what you're gonna get is you're gonna get their user going with this post route. Um, almost every single time the user will go with the post. And so when you watch this concept kind of develop, what you're getting here is basically a high low between the post, whether it be from the R1 or the X, and the drag. So you see that this drag to circle really can come up and underneath pretty easily as well. Again, this is a, a five to seven yard type of play. Now the other thing that I like about this is that again, the corner routes that you're using on this play are no slouch. So um, you're seeing here that we're not only able to beat the underneath, but what you're about to see is that we're able to beat this outside zone. So this motioned out C route, as long as you get it outside, um, and I threw it a little bit too late there, but as long as I get that outside, you're gonna see that it's gonna get in a unique kind of position uh, against the zone coverage. So again, I'm just gonna kind of set this coverage up just like so. And then I'm gonna double drag just like that. And if you watch this, again, we're just motioning them out, give them a little bit of space here, and we're just passing that to the outside. And you see that it puts them in kind of a unique position. And really, again, this is more further to the point of like the idea that he is really doing a good job of pulling the zones out of the way um, as long as you snap him in the right you know, kind of position. And really, the, the thing that I found with running this is the best place to snap him is just let him move just a step or two. That's going to give him enough room to stay outside, but also it's going to get him you know, you see that's kind of the idea right there. So as you can see, if they're running, you know, that Mabel concept, that's so good at taking away outside routes, we're still able to hit the C route even against that zone. Now, the other thing that we're able to do though, is if we work back to this, um, this opposite side here with this, and we use that post corner uh, concept off the motion, I want you to watch this R1 receiver. You're gonna see that his corner route just passes him down and away. And as you can see, it puts him in kind of a really a particular situation. Now for those of you that don't have Hot Route Master, I want to show you what this would look like if you were using curl routes um, as, your, as your route. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to put R1 on a curl. And when I do that, I don't really, I typically will almost always motion him in. So you get this little motion, get that guy kind of turning his hips. But watch this curl just kind of sit in the middle of the field. It's so unique of a route. Um, the reason that I like it so much is because it really does a good job of just sitting kind of in a unique position in the zone. Because if you think about it, the user is going to have to be over in this left side. He may not necessarily have to defend the, the, you know, the drag, but he does have to be on the left side. So when you get these double drags coming across, the vertical hook gets pulled by this drag. So you see here, drag pulls the vertical hook, and then I can you know, throw that down in that, in that pocket. And if I can't throw that there, if the guy is showing good coverage on that player, then I can simply just take that, uh, take the drag route. One other little trick uh, with this I do want to show is actually to do double curls. So if you want to, you can certainly do these double curl routes. The reason that I like this is because it still allows me to be able to motion. Um, it allows me to be able to motion uh, square. So I can still motion square. Now I've got double curls. And if you watch these double curls, they're really, they do a great job of holding the zone. And as you can see, the drag on the right side is completely wide open. So really the concept is taking these, you know, kind of intermediate routes and using them against your opponent. Another way that you could run this concept if you want to, um, is you can use these C routes as your outbreaking pattern. So you basically have this look right here. And then from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your, your mesh, which would be something essentially like this. Um, and then you have your post. Now, the reason I like this concept um, is because that smart routed out route is going to do a ri ridiculously good job um, against Mabel coverage. If your opponent is running a lot of Mabel coverage, the smart routed out route is probably my favorite route to use to manipulate Mabel coverage because what it does is it does such a good job of pulling these zones back. You'll see so much now. Look at all of this space that we have to hit the post over the middle of the field. Their user has to choose between the drags and the post route which makes it a really difficult decision. So this is a couple of different ways that you can run the mesh concept out of the five wide. I think the mesh concept is something that, you know, most people really need to 
add to their offense, whether it be out of five wide, out of bunch, out of anything. Double drags have been hard to defend for years, and I believe in Madden 22 they're going to be absolutely unguardable. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my route concept encyclopedia, where I actually do a deep dive on every major passing concept in the game that you can apply to any offense that you're running, you can get that down in the description.